Uh, hello, everyone. I'm going to present the exporting the behavior of bee stable energy harvesting via global sensitivity analysis. I'm João Pedro. I'm a master's student in mechanical engineering at São Paulo State University, Ilha Solteira, Brazil. América Cunha is my advisor, Samuel da Silva is my co-advisor, and Paulo Varoto is a collaborator. When we talk about vibration energy harvesting, the great challenge about this kind of system is create an efficient system over wide frequency bandwidth. Because we know that the vibration, the environment, always changing and in over time, and we have a lot of situations that the vibration uh, changes. Then, in literature, we have some proposal to to solve it. One is attuning the resonance frequency, but uh, it requires energy, using a multi-degree of freedom systems or a multimodal device, and a nonlinear application has using a monostable, bistable oscillators and others kind of nonlinear. And here, my interest is using a bistable oscillators that present it's a classical and a good uh, and present a good performance to system to harvest energy. And uh, in sense, this this classical system presents a high sensitivity to some parameters. And here we can see two videos, and we can visualize this two different behaviors. In the, in the left side, we have a periodic behaviors. In the right side, account behaviors. In, we just see change the frequency, the amplitude of excitation. And it demonstrates that it's a high sensitivity system. And the, now I ask you to imagine this system in a real condition that we need to take into account uncertainties and errors, mainly from manufacturing process or from environmental conditions that we have geometry, properties of materials, or even external excitation has a stochastic variable. Then a great question arises, what happens with these uncertain parameters in our power harvest performance, since uh, this system has high sensitivity? Then my objective here is identify and classify the most important parameters of bee stable energy harvest that cause variability in the power harvesting, cover analyzing different dynamics behaviors. Then my presentation is divided in, in five sections. First, an uh, overview of sensitivity analysis. In second, I introduce uh, uh, some concepts about metamodeling by polynomial chaos expansion. Next, the B-stable energy harvest system that I analyze, the results and the final remarks. Sensitivity analysis is a powerful tool in statistics. My, to deal with a uh, uh, stochastic process. And we, here we have a basic idea about sensitivity analysis. We input the system model and the random parameters associated, and we obtain it as a product the most important parameters that the most affect our system, that most cause variability in our system. And the, 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 the my contributions about this these tools is we can simplify our probabilistic model because we just consider the parameters that the most affect our system, help us in decision making, provide an untrivial insight into behavior, mainly because we, we study a complex dynamic system and it can be a work tool to robustness and optimization problems. And now I present the, the method that I use to sensitivity analysis that use a variance method. We, we have the mathematical model has this equation which uh, we have the uh, output defined by a M operator in function of the input data on search. And we can approach we can rewrite this mathematical model He's using this whole sobel decomposition. Mind, we define our output in, in terms of the total means and conditional means. That the first term is our total means, the second term is a sum of conditional means re, uh, in terms of the parameter xi minus the total means. The third term is a conditional means by parameter xi and xij and so on. The great property about this decomposition is your orthogonality in terms of the conditional means. Then we can rewrite this equation using the variance 
we can, the variance of the model is defined by a total variance and sums of conditional variance. And the, after all, the variance decomposition can be divided by the total variance, which we have the sum of this first int s plus a sum of this second int s and so on. And it will be equal one that represent 100% of the total variance of our model. And the, the S ints here, we call it as Sobo ints. That's the, the first order Sobo ints quantify the adaptive effect of each, each input separately, which we have the, this equation that has the variance, conditional variance for parameter Xi in rate of the total variance. And for the second order Sobo ints that uh, quantify interact interactive effect of the uh, input Xi or Xij, the join effect, the equation is conditional, is a conditional variance to both parameters in rate of the total variance. And we can use the same reason for the high order Sobo ints. And now I introduce the math that I use to calculate the Sobo ints. As usual, I can calculate this Sobo ints based on Monte Carlo math, but it will be expensive and since mainly because my objective is exploring several behaviors. Then one alternative to, to it is constructing a meta model that we can represent well our response and it has low time processing. And here I use the polynomial chaos expansion that is a response surface by the model based on polynomial expansion that we, we define, we approach our scalar of our output as a sum of the truncate a uh, truncated sum of the polynomial and coefficient, which uh, the, this polynomial, its polynomial basis is a multivariate polynomial basis that is defined in function of the probability density function of each random variable in a way that this polynomial is orthogonal to our PDF. And the coefficient is need to be deter, deter, determined that you use a numerical numerical regression to calculate it based to experiment design. And af after we calculate the, after we building this, this expression, we has, has a post-processing techniques uh, without adding time and just using the coefficient, we can calculate the statistical moments that the mean is the first, the first uh, coefficient, the variance, it's all coefficient squared, Actually, I don't consider the first coefficient because it's the, the mean. And the, after, we can calculate the Sobo ints by this equation, that the, the first Sobo ints is defined by the all coefficient squared truncate by parameter i in rate of the total variance. And Two the second, wrong. sorry? Two minutes. Okay. And the second, second uh, order Sobo ints is defined by this equation that I truncate by parameter i and j. And here I press the system that I calculate, the B-state Brennage harvesting, that in the left to have a schematic illustration and in the right, the equation of motion. And the, my interest is the quantity of interest. In the equation of motion, the mechanical equation has its passive term and the piezoelectric coping and the harmonic excitation. And in the electrical equation have a reciprocal time constant and piezoelectric coping. Now I press the results. First, I calculate the, the bifurcation diagram that uh, I, I use the nominal values for evaluate the behaviors over an amplitude of citation range. And we can see a periodic behaviors in the middle of the spectrum. We have a, a cloud of points that represent the cloud behaviors. And the, in the right, we have a minusable winds that uh, I calculate. I, here, I plot just the all first order Sobo ints and just the minus second order Sobo ints. And I, I evaluate for uh, amplitude of excitation. And uh, we can explore in several behaviors with this, these parameters. And uh, just for one amplitude of excitation, I plot all, all Sobo ints by stacked bar. And we can see that the, the blue bar, that is the frequency of excitation, is influencing in our, in our range of amplitude of excitation, but uh, it's, it's bigger in the low excitation. 
the green bar that's the amplitude of excitation is is high sensitivity just in the middle of the spectrum that it's a chaotic regime and the red bar that it's a piezoelectric coupling in electrical equation present high sensitivity just for high high excitation and the parameter the joint parameters just is the gray bar most influence and we i noted that is the dumping term don't present influence and the one asserted by this term is not uh, important then I conclusion that uh, we can reduce the probabilistic model because I just consider the frequency amplitude and piezoelectric properties that it's most influenced in our model. In our model, and uh, I can also conclude that the sensitivity is driven by the dynamic stability. And thank you very much for attention.